We keep hearing about the prices of gold soaring, but gold isn't the only metal that's gaining momentum. Some analysts say silver is the way to go. So which one is the right way to go and which one is the wrong way to go, if any? We're joined right now by Eric Bowling. He's the host of Happy Hour. I could touch him, but he doesn't want me to on the oh, Fox Business ahead. Network. And Dave Ramsey wants me to, but I won't. He's the host <laughs> of the Dave Ramsey Show. Is with us right now. Why silver, Mr. Gold? Well, okay, so silver has all the precious metal properties of gold. So whether it's geopolitics, whether it's an inflation, inflation hedge, whether you're just worried about fiscal and monetary policies in the U.S. or anywhere else, gold goes up, silver goes up with it in sympathy. But it's got a lot of other uses, too, industrial uses, dentistry. Every circuit and cell phone has some silver in it. Cars have hundreds of ounces of silver in them. Everything that has an electronic thing tied to it has some silver in it. Dave, it sounds like a safe bet, is it? Well, Eric's a lot smarter than me. You guys know that for, from hanging around with him. There's but no try to play anyway. Yeah, but he's but, but, but more the, handsome the, than me. The truth is, is that every loaf of bread has some wheat in it, too. But he's not recommending wheat. It's just a commodity. Every car has some gas in it, but he's not recommending oil. And the reason is commodities are extremely volatile. Now, Eric, you're doing better because the gold thing really sucks. Silver's at least got a good 25-year track record. <laughs> it really does well. If you go back a ways, I mean, when the Hunt brothers tried to actually corner the market, it was really exciting in those days. But it's a gamble. It's not an investment. And I do long-term investments. If you want to play short stuff and play in day in and day out, it might be fun to play in that right now. I but I don't recommend. Do uh, David's a, he's a, clearly the smarter of the three. Uh, no offense. <laughs> I don't play day in and day out. I, I put up a full screen here. It's a one-year, five-year, and ten-year return on no. gold, Who are you silver, talking to? There's and no one the stock. Control. There's no okay. one there? No. There it is. Oh, there's a 101. Gold, silver, uh, and the stock market over one year. Silver outpaces all of them. Over a five-year period, check out that S&P. That's the stock market over five. You're down 9%. In ten years, you're down 26%, while gold is up 300. Oh. Uh, silver is up 260. Now, I know, <clears throat> I know. It's snapshot. It's very difficult to say, hey, this outperformed that. But here's a very nice cross-section of maybe some of our viewers' investment outlook. Dave, he's done some research. Well, the, you have done some research, and there's no question. And if you pull those annual numbers, you can mess with it. If you want to pull it since March 9th, well, when the, bottom, when the stock market was at the bottom, well, the stock market has done better than silver since then. No, so, yeah, <laughs> no. Yeah, I'll give overall. you has done better than it's done over the course of a one. Well, we're up 60 20. some odd percent. Gold's up 60 some odd percent. I mean, bottom line is I'm not looking at things on that short run. And silver is a commodity. It is better than gold in the sense that there do, does have some industrial uses. I think Eric's got a really good point there. But I, the main reason people invest in silver and gold is fear. And when you invest based on fear or you invest based on greed, mm -hmm. you're always going to get yourself in trouble. And a lot of people would argue there is a reason to fear. Uh, monetary <laughs> policy, $12 trillion right. in debt. You know, the, the Obama administration right. prints money, makes the dollar weaker. There's, there's well, a lot. Will we really I never go to silver if it crashes, though? I uh, doubt it. Well, we're going to be back with you guys in a couple of minutes. We'll find out why I have a tie and they don't. Those stories, as well as... <laughs>